Welcome to EpiRock and CompRod, a unique rock drilling system combining the best of top hammer and down the hole drilling. The following film sequences show you how to assemble, disassemble, and check the various parts of the complete CompRod drill string. Please bear in mind that this equipment is rather heavy. To avoid injury, ask someone to help you handle the CompRod parts. We strongly recommend the use of personal protective equipment, safety clothes, protective footwear, gloves, protective goggles, earplugs, and a helmet when handling cop rod equipment. Check the bit for wear and damage. The bit should be reground if the wear flat of the buttons is more than one third of the button diameter. The bit can still be used if one button is damaged, but make sure sharp edges on the button are ground off. The bit should be replaced if two buttons next to each other are damaged. Disassembly begins by removing the drill bit. Pull the cop rod head up to the breakout table. Turn the bit chuck until the bit comes loose. Lower the loose bit and remove it. The cop rod head should be replaced if it is worn to the recommended minimum outside diameter or if the bit driver splines are damaged or less than 4 mm wide. We recommend taking the opportunity to check the bit driver splines and stop ring and the diameter of the bit tube and bit chuck every time you replace the bit. Take the cop rod head to the breakout table. Break it loose from the section and continue turning until the head falls to the ground. Remove the worn out head. The cop rod tube and end piece should be replaced if they are worn to the minimum recommended outside diameter. Take the end piece to the breakout table, then loosen it. Pull the end piece up and clamp it to the breakout table. Loosen the end piece a little more until there is a small gap. Swing the boom into the horizontal position. Push out the end piece. Disassemble the end piece by hand. Check the end piece threads. Replace the end piece if it is worn or damaged. The rod guide inside the end piece can be replaced separately if it is damaged. Check the rod end surfaces and stop lugs. Minor damage can be repaired using a file or grinder. When any of the rod ends are worn to the same level as the bottom of the recess in the center of the rod, the drill rod is worn out and should be replaced. Check the tube thread and the rod guide inside the tube. The rod guide can be replaced separately if it is damaged. Inside the tube, there is a guide tube which holds the rod in the right position. The guide tube has channels that distribute air to the cop rod head and bit. This guide tube should be undamaged so as to ensure free flow of air through the tube. The tube must be replaced if the guide tube is severely damaged. Push out the tube, then loosen the tube from the tube adapter using the breakout table. Check the thread at the top end of the tube. Take the opportunity at this point to check the tube adapter thread. Swing the boom down slightly and place the tube gently on the ground. Bring the boom back into the vertical position. Bring the tube driver down, 
Then check the tube adapter thread. The tube adapter should be replaced if the thread is worn or damaged. Turn the tube adapter so that the coupling bolts can be accessed. Then clamp the tube adapter to the breakout table. Loosen the top bolt slightly. Then remove the lower bolt. Insert the lower bolt in the center hole and turn it until the upper bolt can be moved. Then remove it again. Tighten the upper bolt slightly. Then unscrew the coupling from the tube adapter. For your own safety, remove the worn out tube adapter. Check the end of the anvil to make sure it is not damaged. Also check the inside thread of the coupling. The coupling should be replaced if the thread is worn or damaged. Bring the coupling down. Place some kind of support, a couple of wooden blocks for example, on top of the breakout table so that it is not damaged when the coupling is removed. Remove the top bolt and insert it into the center hole. Turn the bolt until the gap in the coupling widens to about 10 millimeters. Using the bolt to hold the coupling in place, turn the rotation chuck until the coupling falls down. Remove the worn out coupling. Place a new coupling on the support blocks on top of the breakout table. Bring the anvil down, then grease the thread of the rotation chuck. Bring the anvil further down, then thread the coupling onto the rotation chuck by hand. Pull the anvil back up again. Clamp the new tube adapter in the breakout table. Hold the tube adapter carefully to ensure your hands are not trapped in the jaws of the breakout table. Lower the coupling and thread it onto the tube adapter. Tighten the bolts of the coupling to the recommended torque, alternating as you go. Swing the boom down slightly past the horizontal position. Align the new tube using some kind of support. Always ensure a clean cloth is placed underneath any piece of equipment touching the ground. Take the tube to the breakout table and connect it to the tube adapter. Pull the tube back and insert the drill rod. Insert the end of the rod without stop logs first. Attach the end piece and tighten it by hand. Regularly grease the threads of the tube adapter, tube and end piece. The bottom section will always wear more quickly if deeper holes are drilled. Please remember to change the order of the sections to ensure even wear. Place a cloth on the ground to ensure the new head doesn't get dirty. Place the cop rod head on the ground and clamp it to the breakout table. Lift the head off the ground and align it using the drill rig. Bring the cop rod section down towards the head. Wipe the tube thread with a cloth 
then check and grease the thread. Attach the head to the tube and turn until there is a small gap. Take the cop rod head to the breakout table and tighten the thread. Turn the drill rig boom to an angle where a new or reground bit can be inserted easily. Before inserting the bit, make sure there is a small gap between the bit tube and the bit chuck. Push the bit into the bit driver by hand. Turn the bit chuck by hand until the bit is seated properly. Check the bit to ensure it does not fall out. Continue drilling. 